Ciao a tutti, Marcello here, welcome to a new video. If you're still undecided and looking for something different to play for the holidays, maybe this 10 in the Hidden Gems released this year will catch your fancy. Let's go! Live by the Sword is a turn-based tactical game which released about 3 weeks ago. If you are someone that loves the old school tactical games that were available on DS or Final Fantasy Tactics, then you will be right at home with this one. The game is littered with a variety of game modes to keep players interested, including story mode, adventure mode, tactician, multiplayer and skirmish. As I've personally played this one myself, I can highly recommend it. Another game on this list I've personally played and like Live by the Sword has under 20 Steam reviews with nearly all of them being positive except for one. If you haven't heard of video game fables before, that is understandable as it most likely flew under most gamers' radars, even mine, until recently. Video Game Fables is a tongue-in-cheek turn-based RPG inspired by one of the greatest comedy RPGs ever, Paper Mario. With fourth wall breaking jokes, colorful graphics and a light-hearted story, Video Game Fables is a must-try for anyone who is also looking for a new game like Paper Mario. Tain Simulator is a Lovecraftian inspired deck building roguelike. It mixes all the elements you love from a deck builder and puts you in the world of Cthulhu. From the game's description, it is inspired by Slay the Spire and Monster Train with its spin on the jar. Cards are set in a roulette, which looks similar to Rings of Pain, except the roulette is used to your advantage and you put the cards you want to use. While it is mostly positive, most reviews mention that the translation is off, but in the end, it is still a great game. Poppy Night has been out for a while now and is even on Game Pass, which may mean more people may have heard of it. Poppy Nights combines turn-based statics with deck-building elements to create a unique adventure about a young girl and her robot arm as they do odd missions in an attempt to save up enough money to move out of her parents' place. Poppy Nights plays like an advanced wars-like game, but where it differs from most of them is the player has to consider the cards and use them to their advantage. Cards control everything from movement to attacks and even the special abilities some of the characters have. It offers a unique spin on the genre and I'm personally looking forward to going back to it. Jack Move is a turn-based RPG set in a cyberpunk world with modern pixel art. Playing as Noah, an up-and-coming vigilante hacker, players explore the city of Mono City 1 to find leads to Noah's missing father. She will be plunged into a world of murder and evil corporations. Steam reviewers have prized the game's storytelling, gameplay and soundtrack, making it a fun and digestible RPG at around 10 hours or less. Soko Chess is a minimalistic puzzle game using chess pieces. In Soko Chess, you play as the white pieces and your goal is to push the black pieces to their destination. The twist here is the black pieces won't move unless you allow them to attack one of your pieces. From the reviews on Steam which are currently all positive, this game is chess with a twist and players love that it is a puzzle game that also attacks the player, which is something new. Around the world, the giant monsters known as Kaiju are many If you love Kaiju-related things, 
next game is for you. Keiju Wars offers turn-based strategy, destruction and giant Keijus. So what are the reviews saying about Keiju Wars? Great Keiju humor with memes and more, in-depth tactical gameplay and best of all, it contains a full remake of Godzilla 2 from Super Nintendo. From all the reviews alone, it does sound like something fun for any Keiju fan with 60 missions and multiplayer. But predictable. My Master's Moran is a 2D, turn-based, tile-based roguelite dungeon crawler. In a game, you explore your master's basement, which happens to be rented out by monsters for some weird reason. You will explore three different dungeons, all in pursuit of killing that Moron master of yours. The gameplay is addictive and easy to jump into for players looking to enjoy when they have a spare minute, although it could be too linear for someone, but does sound like the perfect game to play while on the job. The Earth of Darkness is a turn-based RPG set in a cursed kingdom. The game lets players pick their character from five origin stories with multiple classes available and quick turn-based battle. In essence, this is the Dark Souls of turn-based RPGs, at least this is what the almost 200 reviews tell me, although it is also an anti-game, but from the looks of things, an extra patch needs to be downloaded for all the anti-content. Luckily the game can still be enjoyed without all that ranchy stuff. In saying that, it may be fun for all of those Dark Souls fans if they are willing to try it. The final game on this list is none other than Potato Flowers in Full Bloom, a classic 3D dungeon crawler RPG. Explorer Labyrinth as part of an expedition crew seeking a special group seeds. What makes this seed so special is they can grow in corrupted soil, aka the world's soil in this game. If you want to get into a 3D dungeon crawler then you are in luck, as just over 200 gamers have reviewed this hidden gem with most praise the game's length and gameplay. It is the type of game you will play for hours and then forget where the time has gone. The only real downside is the story, as there is not much of one. This video ends here, let me know what you think about these 10 hidden gems in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me through all my pages. Wish you the best. Ciao!